Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew and welcome to a horse guide for Red Dead Redemption 2. In this guide I'll be showing you how to care for your horse and maintain it. Just so you have a better understanding of cores before we go ahead, cores act as a decaying attribute and these will decay over time or with use. Lower cores will lead to lower regeneration for the corresponding bars. So for example, if the health core is low, the health bar will regenerate slower. Cores also act as an extension of these bars. So for example, if your health bar is empty, it will actually start depleting your health core instead. Caring for your horse is important to keep these cores up. Feeding your horse is just one of these methods. Feeding your horse too little or too much will actually result in your horse being underweight or overweight. This actually leads to a negative impact on either the health or the stamina. If your horse is underweight, it will actually absorb less damage while draining less stamina while running. If your horse is overweight, it will drain stamina faster, but it will actually absorb more damage. This can be used strategically, but I'll leave that up to you. You can actually find food for your horse in a few different ways. You can harvest plants or herbs, you can loot food out in the open world, or you can buy food in the general stores and stables. Just keep in mind that different foods will have different effects because there's two different types of foods. You have nutritional foods, which are better for cores and actually help with bonding as well. And then you have treats, which have little effect on cores, but actually give you a big bonus to bonding experience. You'll also want to purchase a few vital items before you explore, especially the horse reviver here. If your horse is injured, you can actually use it to revive your horse. Without it, you risk losing your horse if you die or if you actually go and saddle up onto another horse, this particular horse that's injured will vanish as far as I'm aware. Your horse will also get dirty over time with use. This will actually cause the health core to drain faster. Things like blood from your pelts or carcasses that you carry on the back of your horse will actually get it all bloody and then if you fall over in your horse or while riding your horse this will get it dirty as well you can clean your horse in up to three different ways you can brush it yeah, or you can walk it through some reasonably high water i believe as long as the water's waist deep for arthur it will pretty much clean your horse as well entering and exiting the stable even on foot also seems to clean it if you wait too long the health core will start to flash with the red brush icon. Now, two other useful tips that will help with keeping your horse safe. Before combat, you want to make sure that you make your horse flee to keep it safe. You can do this by aiming at your horse and holding left trigger or L2 and then pressing circle or I think B to make it flee. Keep in mind, it will flee in the direction that Arthur is facing. This will keep your horse out of harm's way, so if there's a massive gunfight, you don't have to worry about a, a stray bullet clipping it. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that if you're near cliff sides or water edges, just make sure that you're moving nice and slow, because your horse can sometimes jump out of its own free will. Suicide is an issue amongst horses as well, not just humans, so keep that in mind. If you're, if you're around cliffs. That's it. That's all you really need to know about caring for your horse and maintaining it. Please don't forget to subscribe and visit the channel for more videos. I have a variety of videos that you can check out as well as some more Red Dead Redemption 2 guides. I will have one or two more guides coming up for the horses. One in particular revolving around using the stable and how you can use it to customize and upgrade your horse. And then maybe some random tips for horses as well. Once again, thank you for watching. And as usual, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video.